Hi, Adam here from adaminsights.com. This is an ISO test of the Leica M11. I'm going to take exactly the same shot using just the available light with every possible ISO that's available on the Leica M11 and compare the results. If you want to go ahead and just download the DNG files and compare them for yourself, there's a link in the description to my blog where you can do exactly that. So if you just want to jump straight over there and grab the DNG files and see what the noise profile from this camera is like from ISO 64 all the way up to 50,000, please go ahead and do it. Uh, otherwise, we'll have a look at each shot in the video. Uh, that little twittering is my bird. Sometimes it never fails. He always just wants to make his presence known. Now the ISO dial on the Leica M11 goes from automatic to 64 ISO all the way up to 6400 ISO. Uh, I'm actually not going to use the ISO dial in this video. I've turned it on to M and I've then actually just programmed the push button behind the dial. I uh, will turn on. That'll always help. I've just programmed the push button behind the dial on my Leica M11 to be my ISO selector. So this means, well this actually, from what I've found so far, it actually makes changing your ISO on the fly a little bit easier than pulling up the dial and then twisting it around. Uh, it's much easier if you like to shoot live view to change your ISO like this, but it also opens up a lot more ISOs for me beyond 64 ISO. So I can go to 8000, all the way up to 50,000 ISO now, and we're gonna be testing every single one of them with exactly the same shot. So the big moment has arrived. Let's have a look at the test results from our ISO test for the Leica M11. Again, if you want to download the DNG files of exactly the same image uh, for every ISO that's available on the Leica M11, you can head on over to my blog with the link in the description and download that zip file and that will give you all of these DNG files. In this video we're also going to have a look at all of them and I'm going to crop into 100% but I've had a bit of a look at these so far in Lightroom and well uh, 64 ISO to be expected is amazingly clear and the tonality in the image is just fantastic. Um, I'm The 64 ISO is actually the number one feature for me on the Leica M11. But let's just uh, go up a few steps here and say 800 ISO. So we're now looking at uh, the same image at 800 ISO. At first glance, there really isn't actually much difference between 64 ISO and 800 ISO. Coming from the M240, well, I had the M240 up until 2018, uh, which is when I bought the M10. You know, the M240 at 800 ISO would be getting fairly noisy. And uh, particularly Canons and Nikons, around the time the M240 came out in 2012, they were very noisy as well. So, I mean, this, this is actually a massive uh, step forward in high ISO noise performance with the Leica M11 for me. Uh, let's uh, go up a few more steps. So here we go. Here's 4000 ISO. Now, if this was on the M10, I just wouldn't even bother going near it. The images were would be way too noisy. Let's just have a look. And to be honest, that looks very much like what the. Well, that that's still quite clear. I mean, obviously, it's lost the detail here in my beard, so. Let's just have a look. So 4000 ISO, that's the detail available in uh, the beard, versus 64 ISO. Obviously we've got a lot more detail available at 64 ISO, but that at 4000 ISO, that image is still really good. And it's about what I would expect the M240 to be like um, at say 800 ISO. So a big step forward. I think after having a bit of a look past about the 12,000 ISO mark is when it starts to fall over because what I've noticed is we tend to get quite a lot of color shifts when we go up to the higher ISOs. 
So these images were taken right, less than seconds apart and all we were doing was increasing the ISO but we're getting some notable color shifts happening at ISO is past 12,500. So for fits and giggles, here's the 50,000 ISO image. Zoom right in. Yeah, I mean, that, like 10 years ago, is what most cameras would produce as a 1600 ISO image. So the fact that we can get this at 50,000 ISO is really good for a start, but the image for me isn't really useful. You can see all of the noise and all of that available here. Anyway, um, here's the rest of the images. Uh, again, if you want to download all of these DNGs to play with them yourself and check them out, uh, please feel free.